the Cuphead Show, Funny Pasta. Hi, my name is Ariana Grande. You may know me from songs like Thank You Next and Seven Rings. I was at home one night to Netflix and chill. That's when I found that the Cuphead Show had a new episode. I clicked on it and the show started. But instead of the normal intro music playing, Bad Guy by Billie Eilish played over the intro instead. When the episode started, it was called Cuphead Joins a Death Metal Band. I was shocked. I was so shocked, in fact, that I spit out my popcorn and began to eat my toenails. And then I went to the bathroom to wash out my eyes. When I came out, the episode sh showed Cuphead sleeping in his bed. He seemed to have earbuds in and was listening to, listening to some rather gothic music. <laughs> The Elder Kettle then screamed for Cuphead and Mugman to come downstairs for breakfast. Cuphead and Mugman, come downstairs! It's breakfast time! Mugman said, Coming! Cuphead did not want to go downstairs because he was a depressed emo teenager. Hey! I heard that! Yeah, so? It's offensive! Are you recording? Yeah, yeah, I am. I mean, aren't you supposed to be at, like, in Vegas for the iHeartRadio music, fe music Festival? My mom and me and got sick, so we had to cancel. Whatever, dude. Sorry, I live in a... He's my upstairs neighbor. Anyway... Wait. He, the the ke Elder Kettle then proceeded to use, use his telekinesis powers to pull Cuphead from his bed. He then sat Cuphead on the table... But he was wearing all black and a all and a black hoodie with the hood over his head, and with circles under his eyes. He was listening to, to Lacuna Coil in Happy Days on his MP3 player. But man wondered why Cuphead was listening to such depressing music on such a happy day. One hour later, Cuphead was searching for food, was being very gluttonous, and was searching for food around the kitchen. When he opened a cabinet and was he encountered Werner Vermin in his house. Hey! Who are you? said Cuphead. The, the rat then when it came under his vehicle and said, The name is Werner Vermin. I claim ownership of this cottage in all its contents. You will leave! I'm idiot! Cuphead then got furious and balled his fists. He proceeded to go over to the computer and look up on YouTube how to get rid of a rodent. He clicked a he clicked on a life noggin video. Well, after noggin video. After after what seemed like a really cringy TikTok ad, the video finally started. Blocko said, "Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Have you ever ha had rodent in your house, such as a mouse? Well, don't worry. Follow these simple steps, and we'll get you'll get rid of the rat forever. First, wait until night when the rat is asleep." Then get the said rat and put him in an airtight container. But before closing the airtight container, you must grab a can of Neurotoxin and spray the, spray the toxic gas into the, into the container. And then step two, get in your car and drive to either Tampa Bay or San, Pri or San Pedro off the coast of Los Angeles. And then step three, go take the container and then proceed to throw it into the water. There, you have finally gotten rid of, of a rat. N n no, Triangle Bob, you're supposed to get rid of the rat, n not the... Ugh. Sorry, guys. Anyway, what, what kind of animals do you want us to get rid of first on this channel? Comment down in the comments below. Cuphead then thought to himself, Hmm... He, he then proceeded to follow Blocko's plan and put the Nevermen in, into an airtight container. He then... Ted took the airtight container and put it in, and filled it to the brim with neurotoxin. But just as he was about to close the container, Verna Vermin then proceeded to have a nightmare ab about SpongeBob buying berries from a man named Mo. Ah! He screamed. But instead, it didn't sound like him, it sounded like Beavis. Verna then proceeded to t know what was going on because Life Noggin was also after him. He said, you idiot! What are you doing? I'm getting rid of you! Said Cuphead as he proceed, proceeded to take a mallet and try to hit the rat with it. He then picked up the rat by his tail, and the rat began scream, screaming in ger swear words in German. Cuphead then opened the deep fryer that you cook fries in, 
Impa? Im but it was out of juice. And so he called Dan TDM at his lab and said, Hello, this is Dan TDM. How may I help you? Yeah, uh, is this court pad in the inkwell aisles? I have an experimental rat for you if you want it. Oh, goody. Hey, Dr. Trioris, we, we needed an experimental rat, right? Hmm, said Dr. Trioris. All right, we'll be on our way. He proceeded down DDM, then picked up the rat for experimentation. Well, dang, that was brutal. Anyway, the next morning, the elder kettle woke up to get some coffee from, well, another kettle in the kitchen. When then he noticed on the, on the kitchen ceiling, there was a satanic pentagram and what looked like Cuphead's head in the middle of it. Oh my god! Cuphead, get your butt down here! What? He said in a groggly voice because he just woke up. Explain this! Said the utter kettle as he pointed to, into a satanic pentagram on the ceiling. Oh yeah! I drew that! To keep all, keep all the annoying people away. Cuphead! Th those are nuns! They come to our house to do st to give us biblical messages and whatnot. Well, I don't like them. Uh, that's it. For your punishment, you're going to become an Uber driver, S said the elder kettle as he put the Uber driver sticker onto Cuphead. Cuphead then moans like an emo teenager. Ugh, he said. He said as he walked out the door and got into, and got into their 2008 Honda Civic. Their, the first Uber pickup was delivered to Cuphead's foe, and it was Kelly Maria and Varinus Bon Bon Bon, and they were in Inkwell Isle 3. So he drove to Inkwell Isle 3, and they, the two girls proceeded to get in. Varinus Bon 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 was, was talking about some, some new candy called Candy Tales by Cinco Sweets. Kelly Maria said, You thought too much, and before she fripped froze Varus Bon 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 in as the stone, Cuphead then slammed on the gas, causing him to go 100 miles an hour down the highway. They almost crashed into an SUV from Jurassic Park. It, it was a tour vehicle. Don't know why that's there. Huh. Anyway, wait, they proceeded to, and to, and to drive off the bridge and onto a nearby suburb. Kelly Maria then said, Are you blind, you stupid cop? We're trying to survive here. I don't need to die before I need... Before before she can finish her sentence, Cuphead said, Shut up! We're going to take you to Captain D's! Kelly Maria got offended and said, Captain D's? Then you know they're going to cook me alive. Okay, said Cuphead as he began to drive to the nearest Captain D's. He threw Cala Maria out, and also Varinus Bon Bon Bon. Goofy, who happened to be the manager of the Captain D, said, <laughs> Well, looks like we got ourselves a Nucleus, he said as he picked up Cala Maria. Uh, Cuphead then proceeded to, dr to drive to to drive all the way home. It was nighttime already. He proceeded to go to bed, and then put earbuds in, and proceeded to play play The End Is All I Can See by Lacuna Coil. Huh, that's weird. Why is a song like that in a kid's show? I thought to myself as I ate my toenails. And then so... But then Miss Chalice came in and, and began to charm anyone via dancing. Cuphead then proceeded to, gr to grab a Nerf gun and shoot her in the eye. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. The Elder Kettle then proceeded to ground Cuphead for the rest of the week. And then he flipped him. <laughs> Cuphead flipped him off. I found that funny. Anyway. Wait. The episode then ended there for some reason. But the credits were... The credits music wasn't normal. Instead, it was the song Walk Away From The Sun by Seether. Huh, that's weird. This whole episode's weird, I thought to myself. And then suddenly, I heard a helicopter outside. It w it, the helicopter said Evanescence on the side of it. Amy Lee then spoke through her microphone on the helicopter and said, Ariana, I know you watched my episode! Now you must die! 
I screamed, ah! I said, I screamed like a girl. I ran across the house to not get shot by the rockets and machine guns on their helicopter. Crap, said Amy Lee as she couldn't shoot me. I went into my bathroom and locked the door behind me. And I heard knocking on the bathroom window. I opened it and it revealed Daria and Jane Lane as well as Billie Eilish. They said, said that we're supposed to get out of the house and to get inside the Lamborghini because Lizzo is waiting for us. We got into the Lamborghini and then pulled out of the, before I pulled out of the driveway, Lizzo said, Well, you gotta drive it, drive it, drive it! And then she then she hit on the brakes and proceeded to go down the highway at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> Amy Lee and the rest of Evanescence screamed, Don't you run away from me! She flew the helicopter right next to over our car and then began to shoot at the highway. She shot at a fire truck that was going down the high, down the road as well, and it exploded. Huh, that's, ir that's ironic. Anyway, we then went to the bay to get on a book on a cruise ship to get to Mexico to escape Evanescence. The boat then proceeded to leave the harbor, and Evanescence said, Ugh, crap! You boys got to let him get away! Ugh, said Amy Lee. Then we lived the rest of our lives in Mexico. The end. Also, um, by the way, tomorrow's my 19th birthday.